Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and in today's video, we're going to double click on a very important topic, which is how license for AI Builder and Cloudflow changes when it comes to Copilot Studio. And yes, that actually happens. So say if you go ahead and build an AI Builder type of a prompt and consume credits over there, or in Power Automate Cloudflow when you're consuming runs over there, both of those situations completely change when you move them over into Copilot Studio. And in this video, I'm gonna deep dive into that. So yes, this video is important for everyone. So stick around. But first, here's my intro video. So let's start from the Cloudflow perspective. And over here is actually a Microsoft documentation. It says, if you already have a Power Automate Cloudflow that does what you want, you can convert it to an agent flow. Converting it allows you to manage the flow in Copilot Studio and consume Copilot Studio capacity instead of Power Automate billing. Here is the actual Microsoft documentation whose link I've put in the description below. But it's best if I actually give you a real world example of that. So for as, as an example, so as an example, so for that, I actually have an agent and you've seen me do videos on this, a whole bunch of them. Uh, this, is something, uh, this is a coffee machine agent and it runs automatically with the whole autonomous process. And here's one of the big things. The autonomous process actually runs because I have this trigger and this trigger is basically a power automate cloud flow that goes ahead and runs uh, when somebody goes and fills the form. That's basically the information over here. Now, in the video I released last week, I actually showed how I was able to take that flow from Power Automate Cloud side and move it in as an agent flows. Uh, so here you go. I actually now have that flow right over here. This is an agent flow. And if you're interested, go watch that video because I explained that in detail. So this agent flow we have here, I wanna go back into Power Automate and take a look at it from the Cloudflow perspective, all right? And this is it. But take a close look at these dates. There is a May 12th and a May 13th, all right? Now, keeping those two dates in mind, now let's go into Power Platform Admin Center and start peeling these different layers of licenses. So here I'm coming in, under billing, I'm gonna go into my licenses. Uh, I'll click on the Copilot Studio, and then I'm also gonna make sure I pick the correct environment, all right? And just to make sure the environment that we want over here is that one. So I come back in, I'll select the environment, and I'm gonna go into that environment, which was the one way here, select the radio button, click on select. And then when I come down over here, I'm going to specifically go ahead and download that Excel spreadsheet, all right? Once I download it, I will open it up right over here uh, so you can actually see. See, the environment is the exact same one. Uh, all I do was just make it a little bigger and check this out, all right? Now, on the usage date, which was of the 14th, all right, the 14th, I have started to now have agent flows, right? Again, if you go back into our Power Automate and take a look, we've got the day, we've got 12th and we've got 13th, but now in the spreadsheet from the 14th onwards, we are picking up agent flows. What that means is I actually went ahead and transferred it. This trigger used to be a Power Automate cloud flow. I went ahead and did a migration into my agent flow and now message consumption has started over here. This together is proof that we are no longer consuming runs on the Power Automate Cloudflow side, but we've started to consume messages over here on the Copilot Studio agent side. Why? Because this is now an agent flow. So this is the first scenario where the billing model completely changed when we took a Cloudflow from Power Automate and transferred that into an agent flow in Copilot Studio. So let's take a look at that second scenario, which is the credit consumption in Agent Builder. So I'll just go ahead and close this Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, I don't wanna save it. And here is the official Microsoft documentation. Right away it says, access to AI builder features in Microsoft Copilot Studio within an environment requires Copilot Studio capacity. Here's the big one. It says, which uses the message currency? It's a short sentence over here, but just to paraphrase this, AI Builder will use your credits if you do it in Power Apps and Power Automate. However, when you switch it over into Copilot Studio, it will start consuming your message. And once again, let me prove that to you. So at first, let's go and take a look at my agent, all right? It's called as a tiering agent, and I've done a whole video on this, is how I went and actually took a custom prompt from my AI Builder and leveraged it in this agent. 
go watch that video if you're interested. But I'll just quickly show you one thing. When I come in over here into my agent, go to my specific topic over here, it's called the CV assessment. And when I come down right over here, here is the prompt. I'm actually calling a prompt from AI Builder. It's called HCP CV tiering. And this is it. When I come over here, HCP CV tiering, that was a custom prompt that I built over here. But again, let's start peeling the layers of these licenses. So in your Power Automate, when you come over here into the more or go to discover all, you've got something called as AI Builder activity. And when I come in, this is what it is. It's the AI Builder activity specifically for that HCP CV tiering. Now on these dates, all right, May 15, which is today, I've actually gone ahead and processed the utilization of this custom prompt. And you can see it's three different times, but the credit consumption is zero. So let me also prove this to you right now because that's the beauty of this AI Builder activity. You get real time information. So I'm gonna come over here into my Microsoft Teams because this is where I went and deployed that tiering agent. And this way we'll get as real world experience as possible. So I'm gonna come over here and the message, I'm just gonna say it as CV. Um, the agent actually asks, hey, can you go ahead and upload your CV file? Perfect, I'll go ahead and say that. I'm gonna go ahead and actually um, attach a file. I'll actually upload one from my desktop, which is right over here. Select that, click on send. And now it is going ahead and processing all of this one, all right? So it's saying it's actually processing it. And any second now, we'll go ahead and actually get some information. Again, I've done a detailed video on what this is and how it works and how I built it. But what we wanna see is actually the utilization of the credits in the back end, all right? So everything is good. We are done over here. I'm gonna come back again into our AI Builder activity. And let me just refresh this, all right? Right now, if I refresh it, you see that we just got a brand new batch, right? It seems to come in chunks of three. Not sure about that. We'll see that for another video. But what I know is that this three of them, which was 14 seconds ago, just ran, all right? It ran kinda in a production way in my Microsoft Teams. And you see the AI credit consumption over here is absolutely zero. Why? Because the prompt is being utilized directly in our agent. So we are now consuming messages. And just to solidify that, again, if we go take a look at it from the license perspective, uh, coming back again to the P pack, making sure I'm in the correct environment, which is the AI builder, same one over here, AI builder. Uh, made sure I selected Copilot Studio. And when I came back, this is what we see, but I went ahead and downloaded that as an Excel spreadsheet. And this is what the spreadsheet is, all right? Again, it's the exact same agent, and I've gone ahead and sorted it in a descending order. But you see these features? Two of them are the exact same, text and gen AI tool standard. And over here, we are consuming messages. So let's go take a look at that Microsoft documentation one last time. In that documentation, right away here, if I scroll down, the message consumption for AI Builder is of these categories. And one of them is the text and generative AI tools standard. See, this was the message consumption that we just saw over here in that spreadsheet. Text and gen AI tool standard, go back over here, text and AI gen tool standard. So this is that second scenario. When custom prompts and agent builder is used in Copilot Studio, we consume messages, not credits. Now, my whole reason to build this video was to get a good understanding of all the different layers of this license consumption for you to get a better understanding of your billing. Whether this is right or wrong is something I'm gonna leave at your discretion because it's all perspective based and you have the best understanding of your own perspective. So hopefully this video was useful to you and keep building your own custom agents using agent flows and custom prompts.